Before we start, let me say that this is a true honor to be doing this interview with you. And congratulations for your new album, To Four Online. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you this so is much. A very uh, particular name. What does it mean? Uh, it means to for lie. I mean, these days you have a chance in every second, um, also in Facebook or in, on these eternal, uh, eternal truths and uh, this lying on Facebook or, or the political leaders. So if uh, more than two people show up, there's a chance for a lie. And actually, quite honestly, and so, uh, bring it to the point, I just hate liars. Agreed. Uh, from Fight the Fear to To a Foreign Eye, this album, you change your drummer and your second guitar player. How did this change <laughs> happen and why? Andre, uh, just easy like that. Andre want, wanted to join Bond for Bonfire and a couple in, in he's doing another project. So I didn't run out with the schedule. And so I had to replace him uh, with uh, Kevin Cott. And Kevin was mentioned by Rick. And Kevin is quite. Wow, a big surprise for the band. He's a very good drummer, talented guy, and gives the right guts to the, to everything. And so the same happened to Heiko Schröder. He got an offer from the government to work for entertainment company and stuff like that. So has he said, uh, Herman, I'm so sorry, but I have this time I have to take the left line. Uh, so this will fridge my uh, this will fill, fill my fridge. <laughs> And I said, hey, I do understand. So I had to look for Mike Christine. And I found Mike, actually, he's, he's from Hanover, my hometown. So he's living next to my area. And uh, it's very easy to work with, his, with this guy. And when we checked out uh, our guitar playing, we really realized very fast that it's matching like hell. So this is uh, great news for me and for the art. Plus, Mike Bazin already plays in victory. How was this transition <laughs> from <laughs> to your solo band? Yeah, I mean, that happens at the same time. So, because uh, I had to uh, search for, for a second guitar player in Victory 2. So I said, hey, Mike, uh, we are doing so well together. Why don't you join Victory? And you said, hey, it's an honor. OK, uh, how was the creation process to this album? Did you change anything from your previous? <laughs> this time it was a little bit different. The creation process is quite the same. Uh, if you're doing an album, just you start as usual with catching some riffs and searching for some riffs, some some nice hooks, and catching riffs. It happens always. The most most times, uh, it happens to me when I practice in the morning guitar, and then all of a sudden you play a, a riff. Uh, it this sticks in your mind, and if you're lucky, you work it out on the next day in the studio. And it works out well, but as usual, it takes more than a week. Let's let's say let's put it this way: it takes a couple of months to come up with ten songs or even more. And for sure, there there had been even, uh, more songs than ten songs, but this time I decided just to put ten uh, songs on the album. I'm not afraid anymore of these uh, 15, 16, 17 songs on a CD. Uh, that doesn't make any sense anymore. Um, so I just put out 10 this time. And so uh, on the wrist were, uh, were brought by you or did Mike Bazin also have a, a chance to, buy, uh, to bring them on? The songs, I, I composed the songs, but Mike helped me out a lot in doing the rhythm guitars. He played a couple of leads on, for example, on some songs. So uh, a, let's, it's, it's not easy for, for the guy to play in Herman Frank band because it's one of, it's, it's my biggest toy so far I have, you know. So I really like to play my guitars and that's the reason why I do this kind of like solo project. Okay, uh, Venom, Eye of the Storm and Teutonic Order were your singles so far. Why did you choose them? Because record company says <laughs> that might be the best of the album. No, Let, um, for serious, uh, Eye of the Storm was the first uh, uh, single. And I think this song stands for the whole, for, nearly for the whole album. Uh, shows catchy riff, real powerful uh, tune and a nice hook line and so do so is the same as the, the whole record and the second song venom i thought to myself hey think about if you're driving down the highway 
uh, leaning out your left arm to, to the window and just listen to this song. It might be the perfect feeling. And I'm really proud of this song. So we decided it was, uh, together with the record company, let's uh, put this out as a second single, as a lyric video. And finally, um, one of my favorites of the song can, uh, now released as the real video. It's called Teutonic Order. Of course, this is one of my favorites of this album. So we can say that in a part they are all representative of the album. More or less, yes. Okay, is there any other single to come or are these ones done? I guess that's right now for the moment, uh, three singles, it's enough. People are waiting for the whole album. This album will be released on May 21st. So it's in a couple of days. And uh, if, uh, as I'm not Michael Jackson, I don't think there might be another singer. Okay, uh, you are accepts guitarist in four albums. Can the fans expect another tour or another album or another project with you as accepts guitarist? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> future will show. It's the future is always wide open. Uh, I'm not pretty sure about that. Uh, that future will bring us the answer. Okay, and what about Victory? Do you have plans for a new album? Oh yeah, I'm right now in the mixing of the new album. We we just finished recording uh, one and a half weeks ago, and the uh, new album will be released in end of September, beginning of October, as I understood record company right, and there will be a couple, a lot of very nice songs. And what can you say uh, about that album? I think we uh, we catch the spirit from the culture and the uh, culture kids and native and the temple of gold album, the, the both the two successful album of victory, and I, I'm pretty sure that people will love it. Okay, uh, you have now almost uh, 40 years of career under your belt. What can wow. the fans still expect from you? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. As I said, future is wide open, but there's still a couple of plans I want to do. Uh, first of all, releasing the Hammer Funk album and trying to get some shows, maybe a, a, small, a little tour in Europe or something, if it's possible again. And there will be more albums than this one. I'm quite, I'm pretty sure about this. There, there, there are always plans in my head, you know, but it takes time to real to to make them realistic and and to make them happen. Okay, uh, which are the main aims you would like to fulfill once this pandemic is over? Is again the future, but I believe that this pandemic is changing a lot of things in our in a lot of in a lot of minds. <laughs> We will see what's, what's be changed after the pandemic. You know, nobody knows. Uh, it's, it's definitely a, a serious situation. I guess next year, 22, 2022, there will be crowded out there uh, if, because everybody's fighting for any slot to play in any club or any festival. That might be a funny situation. Uh, we, we might have a noon show, an afternoon show, an evening show, a midnight show, <laughs> we'll see. But uh, I hope that people will enjoy more than the live, live music and uh, maybe they're going to visit uh, concerts, uh, uh, more concerts, you know, than they, they did in the past. Okay, what about Portugal? Do you have any, uh, any tour dates for as uh, Emil Frank or Victory? We are planning for Hammer Frank for, uh, to get serious in next year, 2022. I guess we will do it in April, May, something about something around that, because that may might be a safe position to put a tour on. Uh, I don't think that there will be concerts this summer and maybe in the end of the year, but nobody knows so far. If I would, if I could tell you when when live uh, concerts will happen again, a I would be one of the richest guys on the world. Okay, uh, uh, thank you. Do you send any message to your Portuguese fans? Uh, hey, people! Uh, some it's just a couple of days uh, left. Then my new album will be released. 
via AFM. It's called Two for Lie, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Thank you so much. Appreciate that you're taking the time. See you next time.